incredible mega projects that are now abandoned. The world would have looked very different indeed if just a fraction of the most grandiose and fantastic mega projects ever proposed had made it past the drawing board. Many of these constructions would have changed our world's landscape and pushed the boundaries of human ingenuity. Looking back through history, we found some amazing projects that were abandoned and decided to tell you about them today. You will surely be interested, so get ready for an interesting video. Welcome back to the Billion Dollar Projects. We are glad to be together again and talk about amazing projects around the world. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and make sure to turn on the notifications so you don't miss more projects. Well, it's time to start. Here we go. Number 1. The World Islands, Dubai The World Islands are an archipelago of small artificial islands constructed in the shape of a world map. Located in the water of the Persian Gulf off the coast of Dubai, United Arab Emirates, those islands are composed mainly of sand dredged from Dubai's shallow coastal waters and are one of several artificial island developments in Dubai. Construction of the 300 islands began in 2003 before being halted due to the financial crisis of 2007 and 2008. Though 60% of the islands were sold to private contractors in 2008, development on most of the islands has not started. To make matters worse, evidence emerged that the islands had begun to sink. Despite all the problems, out of the 300 islands, only one was completed. Number 2. Olympic Venues in Athens The Olympic Games did return to Athens in 2004 after beating Rome, Cape Town, Stockholm, and Buenos Aires for the privilege. No expense was spared in the hosting of the Games, with a cost to the government of Greece of 8.954 billion euros. Large-scale infrastructural projects were undertaken across Athens, including improving airports, roads, hospitals, and access to archaeological sites, and many sporting venues had to be built from scratch. Although everything was completed on time, after the end of the Olympic Games, most of the sports fields are not used, and some of them are in a state of disrepair. Number 3. Tian Duchang, China – Fake Paris You know that China always has some initiative and sometimes crazy ideas. So this country decided to make a replica of Paris. Construction at Tian Du Cheng began around 2007. Its central features are a 180-meter-tall replica of the Eiffel Tower and 31 square kilometers of Parisian-style architecture, fountains, and landscaping. It opened in 2007 and can accommodate more than 10,000 residents. Initial occupancy was low, with an estimated 2,000 people living in the development by 2013 leading some to label it a ghost town. Even though China has invested a lot in this project, wanting to improve the economy and attract new residents, but also tourists, it must admit that this project failed. Perhaps the location of the fake Paris had the greatest influence on that. Jandu Chang is surrounded by farms and farmland, far from the city, and that's why it is not in the sights of tourists. Number 4. Prora Rujan, Hitler's Nazi Resort The Colossus of Prora commonly known simply as Prora, is a building complex in the municipality of Binz on the island of Rugen, Germany. It was built by Nazi Germany between 1936 and 1939 as part of the Strength Through Joy project. It consists of eight identical buildings and was 4.5 kilometers in length, parallel to the beach, with the surviving structure stretching 3.0 kilometers. Prora was designed to house 20,000 people. All rooms were planned to overlook the sea while corridors and sanitation are located on the landward side. Each room of 5 meters by 2.5 meters had two beds, a wardrobe, and a sink, but each floor had communal toilets, showers, and bathrooms. Although Hitler wanted this to be the largest resort, at the same time he adjusted the construction plan so that this same place could be a hospital in case of war. However, then the war really started and this resort was never completed. It stood neglected for decades, and then in 2013, a German real estate company received permission to restore this place and finally become what it should have been from the beginning, a resort. Number 5. Astrodome, Houston The Energy Astrodome, also known as the Houston Astrodome or simply the Astrodome, is the world's first multi-purpose domed sports stadium, located in Houston, Texas. It was financed and assisted in development by Roy Hofheinz, mayor of Houston, and known for pioneering modern stadiums. Astrodome was officially opened in 1965. After the original natural grass playing surface died, the Astrodome became the first major sports venue to install artificial turf. 
which became known as AstroTurf. In another technological first, the Astrodome featured the Astrolight, which was the first animated scoreboard. By the 1990s, the Astrodome was becoming obsolete. Although it no longer had any primary tenants, the venue regularly hosted events during the early 2000s, and in 2005, it was used as a shelter for residents of New Orleans affected by Hurricane Katrina. Since then, it has been abandoned. It's a shame that these incredible projects have been abandoned, right? What do you think about this topic? Please feel free to share your opinion with us. There is a comment section below, so write your comments there. We will be happy to read them. Don't forget to turn on the notification to be notified when the new video is online. Subscribe to our channel for more topics like this one. Of course, drop a like and share the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day and we will meet you soon again.